It was a pretty scrappy uh, match, to say uh, the least. Uh, as you said, we had to wait until that 99th-minute goal uh, to finally see some real uh, action. It was a very scrappy uh, first half. The second half picked up a little bit, and that's where we saw uh, some uh, very uh, beautiful saves from both uh, goalkeepers. There were uh, specifically uh, one on each side, fingertip save deflecting uh, the ball once on the bar, once on uh, the post to keep... Uh, uh, the uh, match goal is, uh, but uh, what brought the real excitement at this Groupe MS st Stadium here in Lyon uh, was the entrance, uh, the coming on of uh, the substitute Shanice van der Sanden. She plays her club football here in Lyon, and that's what really got the crowd uh, going, which uh, gives you an idea of uh, how not very exciting uh, the game was until that uh, moment. She also brought in much needed energy for uh, that Dutch uh, team, uh, though uh, they were weren't able to uh, score in the 90 minutes in regular time, headed to extra time. The uh, Dutch had started already uh, dominating, and that domination led to that uh, 99th minute goal uh, by uh, Jackie Grunen, breaking the deadlock, giving that win uh, to the Dutch, who reach their very first World Cup uh, final. But the real winners tonight are probably the United States. If they were watching this game, they're probably thinking that the World Cup is a little bit closer uh, to to uh, their hands because it, with what uh, the Dutch uh, showed uh, tonight against uh, Sweden, it's really hard to see uh, them standing in the way in between Team USA and their fourth World Cup uh, trophy. But we'll have to wait a little bit longer. July 7th, that's the date for uh, the final right here in Lyon.